What may have once seemed a Mission Impossible is a remarkable, out-of-this-world reality in 2016. And liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series from WatchMojo.com, where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about the Juno satellite mission. Number 10. What is the New Frontiers program? As a series of NASA-conducted space exploration missions, the New Frontiers program aims to extend our knowledge and understanding of space and the solar system around us. Its general purpose is to investigate several prominent bodies, including major asteroids, our system's largest planet Jupiter, and the dwarf planet Pluto. The program is built on mission proposals submitted to NASA by both domestic and international scientists, and is a development of exploration technology previously seen in the Discover and Explorer initiatives. As of July 2016, there were two New Frontiers missions in progress, and a third scheduled for launch in September of that year. Number 9. What is the Juno Satellite? First launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida in August 2011, Juno is one of the foremost missions of New Frontiers. With a projected mission cost of over $1.1 billion, the satellite was sent into space to research Jupiter and to look for clues regarding the planet's beginnings and the formation of the solar system. The space probe is solar powered and packed with high spec scientific equipment, including instruments to analyze the makeup of Jupiter's atmosphere, its mass, and gravitational fields. The spacecraft also carries a plaque dedicated to Galileo Galilei and three Lego minifigures made out of aluminum to represent Galileo, the Roman god Jupiter, and the goddess Juno. Number 8. What is the latest development in the mission? On July 5th, 2016, Juno successfully entered into orbit around Jupiter. Having set off from Earth almost five years since that date and traveled around 1.74 billion miles, the satellite matched its speed for the task ahead and entered into the first of over 30 planned orbits around the planet. Juno will make two 53-day orbits before performing another insertion burn on October 19th of that year, which will bring it to a 14-day polar orbit. The 2016 developments were met with celebration at NASA, as dedicated scientists saw years worth of work and monitoring come to fruition. Number 7. What other planets are being explored by New Frontiers? The New Frontiers program also mounted a mission to Pluto, launching in January 2006. The New Horizons craft staged its primary flyby of the dwarf planet in July 2015, collecting data and relaying back to Earth. However, Jupiter played an important part in that mission too, providing a gravity assist to the probe in February 2007, propelling it with greater speed toward Pluto. Going forward, there are also plans for New Horizons to further explore the Kuiper Belt. The third New Frontiers mission, OSIRIS-REx, has also been planned for September 2016. The asteroid study, which will collect physical samples, is expected to cost upwards of 800 million and is projected to return to Earth in 2023. Number 6. How did the mission start? 3, 2, 1. Juno left Earth at 12.25 p.m. Eastern Time on August 5th, 2011 from Space Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The four-ton satellite was propelled into space after a largely complication-free liftoff by the Atlas V rocket with a Russian-designed main engine powered by kerosene and liquid oxygen. After just over 1 minute 33 seconds of flight, five spent rocket boosters fell away from the main vehicle. Around 54 minutes after launch, Juno began to extend its three wings of solar panels, setting in for the journey ahead. Now, Juno holds the record for the farthest solar-powered trip in space exploration history. Number 5. What will this mission accomplish that previous missions couldn't? In terms of findings, the mission is only just getting started. Soon after having successfully entered Jupiter's orbit, some of the scientific instruments aboard Juno were switched on, with the rest to follow shortly thereafter. The planet's magnetic and gravitational fields will be analyzed, and major attention will be given to its interior structure as scientists try to determine exactly what Jupiter's core is made of. As our solar system's largest planet, information from Jupiter could help us understand the early stages of matter and life. Data collection opportunities will be greatest when the spacecraft is closest to the planet, which, within its initial orbit, is planned for late August 2016. Although we have been to Jupiter before, we've never been as close as Juno is hoping to get. Number 4. What challenges lie ahead in the mission? Jupiter represents a momentous task for Juno. To slow down enough to enter into its orbit, the machine had to burn its engines for over half an hour, but that was just the first challenge of many. In fact, in October 2016, it will have to slow down again to begin a series of 14 days orbit, another task that works in theory, but could prove difficult to execute. Jupiter is the size of 1,300 Earths, so clearly it requires some immense navigational skills. 
But then there's extreme atmospheric conditions and incredible storms raging on the planet, as well as radiation thousands of times more severe than anything ever seen on Earth. One wrong move, and Juno could literally be burnt to smithereens. Number three, how will the mission end? Even if everything does go to plan, Juno will still meet an awesome and fiery end. In keeping with NASA's planetary protection guidelines, Juno will be steered into Jupiter's atmosphere on February 20th, 2018. Having completed its mission, it will then burn up. Unlike other crafts for which a return to Earth is planned, Juno will have its finest and final hours out in the field. The machine has to disintegrate rather than simply being left in orbit to ensure that it doesn't hit anything else around Jupiter, including one of its moons, Europa, Ganymede, or Callisto. These moons are believed to contain liquid water, which means they may be able to host life, so they must not be soiled with anything from Earth. Number 2. What does NASA hope to learn from Jupiter? Juno has been built to withstand Jupiter's hostile atmosphere and radiation belts better than any craft or orbiter before it. As a result, NASA hopes to get closer to the cloud systems and to probe Jupiter's makeup more concisely than ever before. As such a massive planet, Jupiter is thought to have drawn in the raw materials present during the formation of other planets. Scientists expect to understand more about the origins of our solar system by uncovering more information from the gas giant. The Juno Cam will record footage of Jupiter's northern and southern lights, and by getting so close to the planet, experts anticipate detailed close-ups of cloud bands that will give greater insights into weather systems. And we basically have scientific instruments that look inside the planet in every way we know how. Number one, what does this mean for space exploration? The New Frontiers program signals a new surge in interest and investments in the so-called space race. While manned missions have been given less attention in recent times, there have been a series of successful missions and unsuccessful mission attempts to explore space through high-tech robots, roamers, machines, and satellites. As a pioneer in this field, Juno also serves as a significant reminder from NASA. Space exploration is becoming increasingly privatized, but America's leading organization isn't about to lose ground. If Juno continues its success, we can likely expect more missions launched with similar aims and using similar techniques. But while manned missions to Jupiter are still some way off, some experts are predicting another push for people-powered space exploration in the near future. Whatever happens, man or machine, Juno is but another example of human endeavor and our need for knowledge. Did these facts get you thinking? And we expect to discover all sorts of new things. To vote for which new story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top tens published every week. A mission of this complexity uh, to accomplish tonight is, is, is just truly amazing.